So over the last nine months, you all have been um, so privy to one of the darkest moments of my life. And so today I'm just standing here um, overwhelmed with emotions, but the most important emotion that I have right now is just sincere gratitude. The wife of Brittany Griner there reacting to the breaking news this morning that she is returning back home safely to the United States. Uh, back with us now, national security and political analyst Paul Rykoff. Uh, Paul, uh, I was listening to the president's comments about an hour or so ago, and he said for illegitimate reasons, treating the Russians are treating Paul Whelan's case differently than they're treating Brittany Griners. Paul Whelan has been detained in Russia since 2018. He is an American veteran. His family desperately wants him home. And um, what do you make of those comments that for illegitimate reasons, his case is different than Griners? I don't know. And I hope the president will clarify. Uh, I think every case is unique and different. And a uh, American veteran has a different kind of political power. Uh, to be manipulated by someone like Putin. Uh, Putin is going to try to manipulate different audiences with both of these Americans he's held captive. And and Paul Whelan uh, has been detained and, and will be detained until Putin is either, either comes to his senses or is forced to that point. And I think this is a unique opportunity for us as Americans to, now that we've got this momentum behind Brittany Grenier, to rally the American veterans community in particular around the release of, of Paul Whelan. I'm a, a veteran myself. I led a veterans organization. I think this is a great opportunity to bring people together from all backgrounds to focus on a, a, a specific goal. And, and I said it earlier, but, but I'll say it again. I think when Brittany Grenier gets out, she's going to be leading that charge. And if we can bring these different groups together, it might be a unique opportunity to bring Americans of all political and racial and socioeconomic backgrounds together to focus on one of our own. Uh, again, we never know the, the details around here, and, and I'm not going to speculate. But I think right now, everybody's focused on Paul Whelan, and, and that's a good thing until he gets home. I think you're absolutely right that Brittany's role in bringing Paul and other Americans home will be critical, right? She's been over there since February being detained. She knows what it's like. She's been in that penal colony, and she is as high profile as it gets. She's been in the headlines ever since her arrest in February uh, and being found guilty in August. Uh, she was set to serve a nine-year prison sentence, so she is coming home well ahead of what she had anticipated her time in Russian custody. So specifically, once she gets back on American soil, gets her bearing that she has escaped uh, what could have been a very, very trying time. Um, how can she be at the forefront? What types of things would be helpful in Whelan's case and others uh, to keep those cases in the spotlight? Well, first of all, I hope she gets a chance to heal. And she's going to need to heal most likely emotionally and physically uh, to spend some time with her family and, and, and start to rebuild her life. Uh, the trauma of being held captive like this is, is unfathomable. So I hope that she gets that time. But look, this is a, a, a woman who won two gold medals for the United States. She's one of the best athletes we have uh, that's competed on the planet. This is a tough, fierce leader who's, who's renowned for her excellence. I have no doubt when she comes home, she's going to rally people behind Paul Whelan. And she's had LeBron James and Steph Curry and most of the major sports leaders uh, in America behind her. I, I have no doubt that she'll now motivate those people to support Paul Whelan. So every NBA star that was talking about free Brittany Greer, Grenier, I hope that now they will say, uh, you know, free Paul Whelan. Uh, I hope she can address the United Nations. I hope you can get uh, allies that might be on the sidelines to understand how this is a, a, a unique global issue. And she's going to talk, I think, about the unique risks to people from the LGBT community. Uh, th that's a group of people in Russia that have been oppressed, that have been killed, that have been imprisoned. She was at unique risk because of her, of her uh, visible identity as an LGBTQ leader. Uh, and I think this gives us an opportunity to rally that community as well and to underscore that Putin is brutal in, 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 in abusing and detaining and killing minorities of, of many different backgrounds. Right. And the other layer to this is that the communication door is open. The lines are open between the U.S. and Russia to make this deal happen, potentially others. And some wonder, although Maria Shovalova was uh, pretty quiet on the issue of whether the U.S. could be part of brokering a deal to end this war. Uh, a lot to chew on here. Uh, Paul, as always, thank you for your time. Uh, we appreciate it greatly as we continue to follow this breaking news. And talking about.